Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. So I'm out here with our 2004 Chevrolet Avalanche. And I need to move this thing because we've got a car in the shop that's gonna come out. And this is in the way of how we're gonna pull it up onto the hill. Uh, the car I've got in there has got a dead head. So we're gonna fix it, but we're waiting on parts. So in the meantime, we're out here to crank up this Avalanche. And I'll show you what we've got going on let's see keys okay unlock did not work for the reference it's about 39 degrees right now it's slowly warming up key in the switch dead as a door now now this is where this is gonna come into place so i got another one of these jump boxes this one is from the company it's called top don they are on amazon neat little box we're gonna try it out now these things are awesome because they're really really cheap uh you charge them up and they pretty much hold that charge until you use them so this one comes with a set of cables they're different lengths the positive is longer i like these a whole lot better than any of the other ones i got those pinchers are much nicer they're much larger anyway so i try to keep one of these in like every car i have now i've got like four different brands i've never had a top done so we're gonna see so the battery in this avalanche is dead just like if you left your headlights on at the mall and if you got a daughter or a son or niece or nephew or your wife or your husband or your estranged lover, whoever it might be, it's good to keep one of these in your car just in case this happens. Now, these things don't work over and over and over. You have to recharge them. They're usually good for about one start. One or two starts per charge, but we're going to try it out. So... On this one, it's got, let's see, what's this? Okay, there's a plug in to charge it. There's another USB C or whatever that thing is called. I oh, got a flashlight on the bottom. We got some stuff going on up here. Engine start, output one, output two. Oh, so we've got two USBs. We've got the USB 2.0. Or 3.0 whatever that's called and then that's what you plug so you take this plug that into there and it lights up it's showing us we've got 75 percent charge right out of the box now i haven't used this this is going to be the first time i'll put a ground right there i hate these side post batteries GM was retarded for using these. I'm gonna put that one like that. Now, right here, see what I mean? I hate these side post batteries. Now, right here, it's gonna flash correct, letting you know you've got it hooked up the right way. And when you're ready to start it, you press the boost button. Okay, so it definitely put power in it. The voltage gauge is all the way up. So let's give it a go. Hold on, there's a car going by. You ready? Almost. Oh. Did it come loose? Nope. Let's try it again. Look at that completely dead avalanche battery this thing pretty much started it without any help it's still showing 50 percent after one failed start and then it started the second time uh, we've still got to fix the motor in this thing i think i'm just going to put another motor in it but how about that 
fired it right up. So I will throw a link in the description below for these little jump boxes. Like I said, a lot of times these are pretty cheap. If you shop around on Amazon, typically you can find them. Uh, they run anywhere between like 40 and 60 bucks, I think. I'm not sure what these exactly run. This one's a JS-1200. But, so do you charge your cell phone on them with the USB ports or? Yeah, there we go. Got the flashlight on it so you can see in the dark how to hook it up. Got a strobe. Got SOS. And off. But for like, you know, 50, 60 bucks, like I said, the other ones I've got, I normally charge them up and just stick them in the car somewhere. Uh, every one of them I've ever bought comes with this little case or a case of similar vintage. And they work fantastic. You just charge them up, leave it in the bag, throw it underneath the back seat, stick it in a glove box, stick it in the console, you know, what have you. And then when you need it, you've got it. They don't typically drain down. So they can sit for, you know, a month or two at a time. And then when you have that dead battery, you've got something to get you started. So we're gonna go ahead and unhook it. They come with a charger in the bag. It plugs up through the input side. You just plug it into a regular USB. It'll charge off a cigarette lighter plug-in like that or your standard uh, USB house adapter. So we're gonna put that there. I'll charge it up later, get it back to 100%. And I'll throw it in the car and have it for another day. Pretty neat stuff though. So if you're looking for any Christmas ideas, there's some food for thought. Shop around on Amazon for one of them Top Don jump starters. So you keep it in your car have it for an emergency or so just in case it never hurts to be prepared man it is cold i'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat on while i'm waiting we gotta drag a car out of the building i think i already said that recirculate set it to florence's Crank that bad boy all the way up. Get the recirculate not kick. All right, and crack a window. So your keys don't get locked in the car. Alrighty, folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Then we're gonna go get this car out of here. And I'm freezing.